Hey, what is up, you guys, and welcome back to The 423. Jess Hilarious is facing a lot of backlash right now because of some comments she made that were homophobic and completely inappropriate. If you know anything about Jess or you just spend a normal amount of time on Instagram, then you're probably aware of just how often this girl comments on the Shade Room posts. I cannot remember the last time I saw a Shade Room post where Jess Hilarious wasn't the highlighted comment. She's like Diary of a Fit Mommy 2.0. So one Instagram user was going back and forth with Jess in the comment section and ended up taking things to her own page where he threw some shots at her and said, imagine having to comment on the shade room 24-7 to keep the lights on. And hours later, Jess decided to reply to this comment and she fired back saying, yeah, imagine it, you can fill in the blank. Of course, people started going in on the comedian. I mean, it was literally only a few weeks ago that Kevin Hart lost the biggest hosting gig ever for some homophobic comments. You'd think other comedians would be at least a little bit cognizant or careful. And then comes the apology, like clockwork. Jess posted a video on her page saying, sorry for the incident. Here's a clip of that so you can see for yourself. Good morning, world. Listen, yesterday... There was an incident. I was commenting on Shade Room and this guy kept commenting back to me. You know, saying the regular shit everybody say. You manly bitch, no edges, you look like a crackhead, whatever. So he followed me back to my page and left a comment and I called him a faggot. And listen, I'm grown. I know. As sensitive as the world is today, that word still should not have been used. But look, if you think you can say anything to me and I won't clap back to you, that's just wrong. That's just wrong. I am sorry. I apologize to the LGBT community. That's like 70% of my fan base. And if you go your way, you cancel me. I'm sorry. I respect how you feel. I'm going to go my way. You go your way. But y'all got to treat people like y'all want to be treated. Now listen, I'm a grown woman. I can totally admit when I'm wrong. And that was wrong. And I am sincerely sorry. But please consider that y'all may hurt people's feelings too. I'll never say it again. But let's respect each other, please. And in her caption, she wrote, I have never been homophobic in my life. I love gay people as they love me, which I thought was hilarious because how are you going to tell gay people they love you? She also wrote, if you feel as if you can't forgive me and I am still canceled on your watch, I totally understand. She spoke on the subject further after someone commented, asking her if the apology was genuine, saying, No, it's absolutely genuine, but it's effed up that they didn't show the other ish he said to me on the shade room. And I admit I lashed out and that was the first thing that I knew would hurt his feelings like he was trying to hurt mine. So I am sorry to the community as a whole. I personally feel like the fact that she keeps bringing up that the dude she replied to is egging her on and being mean to her first kind of shows she's not genuinely sorry. I mean, she admits to using the slur specifically to hurt this person, so it's a pretty cut and dry situation. Beyond this initial encounter, which was obviously bad enough, Jess Hilarious took things even further and went in on another person who called her out for being homophobic. After this girl called the comedian out for her comments, Jess hopped into her DMs on Instagram and said, Aw, you mad bitch. Eat my ass, you low-key dyke. Is that homophobic enough for you? Hope so. Good night. I mean, this message is even worse to me than the first because she's doubling down and making a mockery of the people pointing out her prejudice. Like, she clearly doesn't care. The whole point of being a comedian is to have funny comebacks and be able to take criticism and fire back in a creative way. But that's clearly not a trait that Jess Hilarious has. But of course, I want to know what you guys think about this. Do you think Jess's apology is sincere? And do you think she'll face any real repercussions for this, like losing her spot on the show Rel? Leave your thoughts down below in the comments. Subscribe to The 423 for more videos. And if you like this one, just give it a quick thumbs up. That is it for today. I will see you guys next time. Bye.